What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the Premier League preview of Manchester City's home game against Ipswich Town in the Premier League. Before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always, if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel. It's free to subscribe. Social media links there in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up 100 likes is the aim do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below including your score and team prediction for this game finally I want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor which is brought to you by sofa score they're going to keep you guys up to date with all the latest football scores along with the latest match information match statistics and analysis for you guys to enjoy they'll keep you up to date with all the latest scores from all the other grounds as well and they'll also keep you up to date with all the latest scores from all the other sports that you guys love to follow all in one place all in one app. It is a free app to download, so worthwhile checking out. Very highly rated, so do go and check it out. If you do want to support the future content created here on my channel, then please do use the link in the description to download SofaScore or the QR code on screen. So, we're going to crack on with this uh, video. We're going to start off with the match information, where this game taking place at the Etihad Stadium in the Premier League on Saturday 24th of August 2024 with a 3pm BST kickoff uh, with the game not being broadcast live here in the UK, it is in the blackout. Anyone heading to the Etihad Stadium for this game, do enjoy yourself. I think they've got the Brazilian celebrations on uh, for this game, as it is Manchester City's first game back at the Etihad Stadium for the new season. So they'll be doing the celebrations, they'll be parading the trophy, there'll be some kind of pyrotechnic display, there'll probably be TIFOs and everything. Uh, so a very enjoyable carnival atmosphere, and they'll more than likely be introducing Ilkay Gundogan out to the crowd as well. So I'm sure you'll have a cracking time. So on to our opponents, Ipswich Town, who we've not faced in the Premier League before. We have faced them, but uh, not for a long time. Anyway, they formed in 1878, led by manager Kieran McKenna, who's done a brilliant job with Ipswich Town. They finished second in the Championship last season, which secured them promotion into the Premier League. Currently find themselves 18th in the Premier League after one game, after their home loss against Liverpool 2-0 uh, at um, Portman Road last week. In terms of their dangers, they've made quite a few signings, so players at City do need to be aware of and uh, preparing for. So, Kajuste signed in from Napoli, they've signed Simodix from Blackburn, a decent attacker. Uh, Morsey, I'm expecting to start. We could see former Manchester City man Liam Delap. Aro Murich is a former City man, but he'll more than likely be on the bench rather than start in this game. They're bringing in Broha from Chelsea on loan. Might he be available in time for this game? They're going to be signing Jack Clark from Sunderland as well, with a deal worth £20 million million pounds he again could be available for this game if registered in time if not then more than likely uh, they'll travel with the squad but not be included as part of the match day squad for this game in terms of injury news Hurst, Burns, Humphreys, Clark and Broadhead all out for Ipswich Town Calvin Phillips as well who signed for them is ineligible as he is on loan from Manchester City so I'm expecting them to line up with a 4-2-3-1 formation lining up with Walton in goal uh, Town Zeeby as their right back Davis left back with Wolfenden and Greaves as their two centre backs going into midfield looking at Kajusti Morsey Chaplin uh, Johnson Hutchinson out wide and I reckon they'll go with Samodix over Liam Delap. they went with Liam Delap last week I reckon they'll go with uh, Black, uh, former Blackburn attacker Smodic instead. Broha, if he is uh, available for this game, potentially could feature, could even start up top for Ipswich. We'll have to wait and see. I am expecting them, though, to go with a low block park the bus formation, so Manchester City are going to have to be at their creative clinical best here to ensure that they break down Ipswich as soon as possible. Now, City formed in 1894 as Manchester City, or 1880 as St. Mark's, led by manager Pep Guardiola. Currently find ourselves uh, fourth in the Premier League, but we did win the Premier League last season. We've uh, won the Community Shield after beating Manchester United on penalties a couple of weekends back and then last weekend we won away from home 2-0 against Chelsea a massive first win to get our first W on the board and we're looking here to make it consecutive wins in the Premier League as well we do have dangers absolutely everywhere on the pitch in terms of injury news Jack Grealish is back Savinho picked up a knock to his knee Pep Guardiola has been very coy on his future as to whether he is available for Manchester City or not for this game 
game. So that's pending. Uh, we will see. He says he'll assess in training both today and tomorrow. Rodri's training on his own, but he's still a few weeks, I think, back from recovering from his injury. Pep Guardiola's even said it doesn't look good, which doesn't sound very good. So certainly I don't think we'll be seeing Rodri for this game or during uh, the uh, this little round before before the uh, international break and I reckon even into September probably not going to be seeing too much of Rodri either which is a good job Manchester City have got some cover in place for him. Now I do expect to see some of the England internationals that have uh, been in training now for a couple of weeks including minutes for John Stones, Kyle Walker and Phil Foden potentially even seeing one or two of them start in this game now. Uh, popping up my team prediction now I'm going with Edison to start in goal for Manchester City. I reckon it will be Rico Lewis, Akanji Diaz and uh, Vardial as Manchester City's defenders for this game you'll see Lewis and Vertmore uh, depending on if City are attacking or if they're in possession of the ball or not I'm going with Kovacic De, Br uh, De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva as our uh, central midfielders for this game Ilkay Gundogan has signed back for Manchester City from Barcelona for free he's only just signed back so he'll be taking part in training today and I can't imagine we'll be seeing too much of Ilkay Gundogan I'm not even sure he'll be in the match uh, squad never mind starting in this game I reckon Foden starts on the right wing with Jack Grealish on the left wing potentially we could go with Foden on the left wing and uh, starting Savinho uh, on the right wing or maybe even alternating and moving Savinho onto the left wing and starting Phil Foden or uh, to me I think Jack Grealish has got to be starting though so it's that right wing I'd be looking at and I think if Savinho's fit I'd start him if he's not fit I'd go with Phil Foden and more than likely I'd say uh, City won't risk it with Savinho and I'm going Phil Foden starting out wide but I could be wrong so I'd definitely be giving minutes for Phil Foden here I'd be giving minutes off the bench for John Stones and Kyle Walker to get them back up uh, to their match fitness and match sharpness got other good options on the bench players like Ake Nunes Doku uh, as well so in terms of my score prediction I'm going three nil today for this game for Manchester City. Uh, I can see Manchester City looking for a couple of goals in the first half try and round this off in the second half and try and coast from there. I'm going for De Bruyne and Erling Haaland to score for Manchester City in the first half and Phil Foden to bag in at the second half. Now in terms of my betting tips I'm going Kevin De Bruyne to score any time. If you've got a little outsider keep an eye on Rico Lewis any time that would be a, a little worth a little flutter uh, in my complete honest opinion. He looked absolutely brilliant against Chelsea and I'd be rewarding him with with a start for this game. So next up for Manchester City, we're going to be taking on West Ham away next Saturday to round off the first three games before the first international break. Ipswich are going to be taking on AFC Wimbledon away on Tuesday night in the second round of the Carabao Cup. Man City have qualified in a European spot uh, from last season in the Premier League, so we don't take part in the Carabao Cup until the third round, so we're not playing in midweek. Ipswich are on Tuesday against AFC Wimbledon before they take on uh, Fulham at home in the Premier League big game for them they currently sit on zero points after one game potentially a difficult away game here for them couldn't get any more difficult away against City more than likely it's going to be zero after two games so they don't want a mountain to climb so uh, they want to try and apply themselves and uh, try and cause an upset here but that's what the Premier League journey is all about now we'll have my live watch long link out for you guys uh, this afternoon for you to set your reminders for for a watch long uh, for this game but on a final note proper banana skin this for Manchester City no problem pressure or expectation on Ipswich so I imagine uh, that they're not going to want to get embarrassed but they're going to uh, be fighting and putting up an effort here uh, and fighting for literally everything on that pitch. The Manchester City need to be really weary and be playing to a very very high standard. We need to be matching the level that was hitting away against Chelsea last weekend. We do and I'm confident that we can win this game. As I said expect a low block. Few and far between in terms of the chance, chances so breaking them down early on could be absolutely crucial so earlier the better in terms of Manchester City trying to score this game. First uh, team to score in this game also could be crucial as well. It's also the first match at the Etihad since May, so it's nice to be home again. So there we go. That has been today's Manchester City match preview for our Premier League match against Ipswich Town. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a thumbs up. 100 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Social media links, they're in the description. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. And finally, do go and check out today's video sponsor which is brought to you by SofaScore.
I'll see you all again real soon for the next Manchester City video. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.